All right, some ideas for, excuse my hand there, some ideas for sailing ships by White Snake. Um, it is quick, uh, 76 beats per minute, but at the um, at the 16th note level. Dun, 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 dun. That's, that's pretty snappy, but don't worry about the speed so much at this point. Let's worry about more about the technique here with the right hand. So I'll angle this down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I angle it down even more, never mind my face for now. I'll move my hand up closer like this. So, in the beginning, you have to really strategize here, at least I did. Start with your thumb in your middle, and then your thumb can come down and get string four as well. So you have I and M free to do this, the melody. same thing there. Now here, M I, M I, M I, M I, M I. And when I say M, I mean middle and I for index. Uh, M I, M I, M I, M I. Um, this passage is the hardest by far to do uh, quickly. So one way to practice it is you can combine uh, all three strings that are being played here. For example, where, where it says C chord and you have this, take all three notes, string five, three, and one, and play them simultaneously. C chord, do the same for the G with the B in the bass, A minor, which is really an A minor seven because open string three, G and for the F stuffs to just do string six, three, and two. So they practice it like this in block chords. You call you call that. Then once you feel comfortable with that, because you know exactly where your right hand fingers are going to need to be, then go back and separate the notes. Once you get there, you're home free, but, and then if that doesn't work, go back and do the block chords. That really makes it clear uh, for your left hand and your right where they need to be and when. That's a, a great way to practice that part. Um, and besides that, there's little else to practice. Be so, yeah, be this D minor section. Let's have a look at that. Um, I, if you're not already doing it, I'd use a pull off from string one, fret one, to the open string E. See, I get my face back in there now. Oh. Now there, what do you do? You you have to strum four strings at once, right? So you're gonna have to use your um, ring finger, or A, we call this in guitar, to get that. I guess you could strum it, but it doesn't sound as nice. Oops, where is that note? No. That guy, that, that's that's as fast as you need to play that. And what I do there, let's see. Is with my right hand, I get string five and one, but then I bring my thumb down to string uh, four and three. how 
I do that part. Otherwise, you end up with a really awkward right hand fingering that's going to trip you up every single time you do it. Okay, so here, um, you get a middle and then bring your thumb down to string four there, right? All right, I should just sit like this and so you see what I'm doing with my right hand here. This is measure 12, yeah. It looks like a 12, yeah, it's 12. Here, C sus four, and that's really tricky. Oh, no, I always do it at rock. And then you're back into the uh, the verse there, but that's a really tricky passage actually. Um, you got the pull-offs with the D D minor stuff. And then this bear. And then this transition and the right hand. important to get that thumb versatile enough that it can be uh, it can be used to play bass notes on six and five of course but it can also be used to play notes on string four and string three so you have your index and your middle free to do mel melodic stuff on string one and two okay that, that's a really important uh, technique to develop there but I don't want to bother you with too long of a video so we'll, we'll end it there but uh, hit me with any questions anytime thanks for watching